Hi there, my name is Bryson Jack, and uh, I wanted to share a quick tip on how to import and work with 3D print files in Blender. I had somebody request this information. They wanted actually for me to send them a source file from Thingiverse, and so I just wanted to point out that pretty much anything that you can get off these 3D print sites, um, as long as they're like uh, STL files, can be edited in Blender or other software programs that support STL but so uh, just to get on with it so the first thing that you want to do is just go to uh, blender.org forward slash download or you can just go to the home page and go, go to the download tab here but anyway you can download the latest version of Blender and it's free and it supports uh, 3D printing editing as far as uh, STLs go STL files are stereo lithography files and they're very common if you go to like Thingiverse or GrabCAD or anywhere, um, usually you can get a, uh, an STL file that you can edit in Blender. Um, so this is my own uh, design and product that I posted on Thingiverse. One thing I would point out though is to make sure that you pay attention to the licensing agreements for the things that you download. Um, so like right here, this one that I've done is non-commercial, meaning that you can't sell my design, and then no derivatives means you can't make changes to it and then repost it under your own name or as a remix or whatever. Um, I don't always do this, but when uh, people do the, do this type of license, it's because they want to re retain creative control. And um, if you want to see something get out there, just contact the author of it, tell them the change that you want to see made, and they'll most likely make that change, and then they'll... Uh, you know, post a new version or something like that. But uh, as long, I guess as long as the thing that you're editing, if it has a strict licensing agreement like this, as long as uh, you're not, um, you know, spreading it to the four winds and no one knows that you've edited it for your own purposes, then I don't think there's any harm in that. So anyway, just pay attention to the licensing agreements when you're um, doing this. But anyway, so uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download, you know, the... Uh, file so I'm gonna go ahead and download that right now and I'll just move this uh, over here so uh, so I've got my files that I downloaded and if I just uh, unzip that I'll just show you that inside of these files now I have actually have three different versions of this that I made that were different um, you know opening sizes or whatever but you'll see right here that it's an STL so Let's go ahead and open up Blender, and inside of Blender, um, you you can go to the Preferences by hitting Control Alt U or going to the File User Preferences. The other thing you can do is just down here in this little Editor Selection menu, instead of 3D Type, you can just choose User Preferences, and then what you want to do is you want to just type in STL, and you want to make sure that this is checked. Okay, once that's checked, if 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 this is something that you want to always have available then just go ahead and hit save user settings and then you can change this back to 3d view so now when you go to file and you go to import you're gonna see an STL option right here alright so if I hit STL and I go to my uh, where's my downloads right here and go inside there now I can select the STL and hit import and I'm gonna have it right there alright so um, I don't think I'm going to get into how to actually edit a 3D file inside of Blender right now. Maybe I'll do that as a separate course or something like that and make that available or charge a few bucks for it or something like that. But um, I can go through and just tell you that you want to make sure that you're working in real, real world measurements. And you can do that over here in the properties editor inside of the uh, scene tab. And there's a units thing here. You might make, just set that to, to metric. Um, also, there are a couple add-ons that I would highly recommend when you're working with files. Again, I won't go into detail on it, but one's called Measure It. And you want to make sure that that's enabled. That'll give you um, an option to, uh, to measure things. And then also, there's one called um, Snap Utilities. And... This is actually something that I paid for, and I think I helped out in develop. By paying for it, I think I was helping the development of it to be free, which is awesome. So I 
I'm pretty sure that uh, Snap Utilities is now built into Blender, so you can go ahead and enable that. And um, I would also recommend that you get a digital caliper. This right here is the one that I bought, and it's pretty full featured, and it's a decent price. So anyway, um, those are a few things that you need to know when editing um, files or when getting files imported. And uh, when you're ready to export, it's the same process. You just go here to export and STL. Uh, you know, you ch obviously just choose where you want it. And um, usually you do selection only in case I have other things in the scene. And then also, just as a final word, uh, just go ahead and scale it up a thousand. That'll work with Simplify and Cura. And uh, then you just hit export. So hopefully that helps you to understand how you can uh, import files into Blender to edit or into other software. There's a whole list of, um, let me just get it really quick. So here's a whole uh, list of, off of Wikipedia on STL files. These are a whole list of um, programs that actually uh, support STL files. So, all right, well, anyway, hopefully that helps and uh, have a great day.